How's it going guys? I'm Theo Joe and today I've got a bunch of free Windows programs for you, seven of them to be exact, and all of these have to do with productivity in some way. So whether you're trying to get work done or just in general, these should all help. And they should also come in handy, for example, if you end up having to work from home because of that virus going around that I'm not allowed to name or else YouTube will demonetize the video. In any case though, I think you'll like these because most of them are actually made by Microsoft themselves, either built into Windows as an app that you might not have known about or available for free through the Windows Microsoft Store in Windows, so you can check them all out. So to start off, we have one of my favorites, Microsoft Sticky Notes. This is built into Windows 10, 7, and 8, I believe, and basically it's just a virtual sticky note that you can stick on the desktop, and how it works is you search for it in the start menu, you can pin it to the taskbar, whatever, and then you create these sticky notes using the plus button to create a note. You can also customize the color, resize it, type whatever you want in it, what you would expect. Also, there's a little toolbar at the bottom to do some text formatting, like you can create bullet lists or change the text format like bold, italic, underline, strike through. One important thing to remember though is there is kind of like a dashboard with all the sticky notes you have made. And if you close a sticky note, it doesn't just delete it. So you don't have to worry about accidentally deleting them by closing them, they'll stay in the dashboard. And if you do actually want to delete it completely, you delete it through that list. This also means if you don't want to have all your sticky notes open all the time, you can close some and just keep the important ones on the desktop all the time. Or if you want to add one back to the desktop, you can have it open back up from there. So just know if one of the sticky notes disappears or you accidentally close it, it's not gone, you can still open it from that list. And I like to just keep sticky notes pinned to the taskbar because I use it all the time. Sometimes it doesn't start up with Windows for some reason, but they're not lost. Again, you just open the program, then they'll open back up. So just be aware of that, but super useful program. I use it to keep notes all the time. Okay, next up we have Microsoft To Do, and this is available in the Windows Store. I'll put all the links in the description if you need them. And basically, Microsoft, if you didn't know, bought the app Wonderlist, which was a really useful to-do list and Microsoft just kind of rebranded it and made it their own. And this is available on all platforms. So there's a web version. There's also obviously the Windows app version. There's also one for Android, iOS, and Mac too. And basically like the name of the app suggests, this is just an app that is meant to keep track of tasks that you want to do in the future at some point, and you can sync it with your Microsoft account across all your devices. So you can see when you create tasks, there are some pre-made groups like ones that are called important that you can star, so you can mark them how you want. You can also create your own lists, multiple of them, group lists together, all that sort of stuff. And you can also customize each individual task by right-clicking, so you can do stuff like setting a due date, either setting it by due by tomorrow or some other date in the future. And what's also really useful is you can share lists with other people. So you can create a link that will allow people to add a certain list to their account and then it's shared and synced between you two. So this is really good obviously if you're doing a group project or something and you wanna make sure that everyone knows what needs to be done as a group and you can also like assign different tasks to individual people so everyone's on the same page. So this one might be more useful than sticky notes if you actually want to have a specific to-do list instead of just taking random notes. All right, moving on, we have Microsoft Whiteboard, which I guess is basically a really cool collaboration software. So you can do it for brainstorming or whatever. And basically you create this so-called whiteboard, which is just a big blank white page. And then you can add a whole bunch of stuff to it. And again, sync it between accounts and collaborate with other people. It'll all show on their account too if you share. So you can draw pictures using a pen tool and it also has a feature that will convert drawings to more proper shapes. So if you like draw a square, it'll actually convert it into a actual straight square. There's also a tool for like a ruler, stuff like that. And you can also add all sorts of different notes. So you can add notes that look like sticky notes or a grid of notes or just a list of items or just a random plain block of text or whatever. You can also do stuff like adding image files from your computer. You can also add Word documents and PDFs right into the whiteboard that are accessible. And of course, like I said, you can invite others to join a whiteboard and then everyone can contribute and make changes that will show up on everyone else's account. And you can even create a web link so it's available from the web if the person doesn't have the actual app downloaded. So it's all really cool and really useful. Okay. Okay, up to number four, this one is really useful. You may have heard of it. It's Microsoft OneNote. It used to be a paid program, but now it is available for free. And you can kind of think of Microsoft OneNote as being a digital version of any type of physical notebook you might have lying around. So you create these virtual notebooks, which are then divided into sections and then pages. So it's all organized. 
and then on each page you can add really whatever you want pictures images whatever you can add basic text just like a list you can just type anywhere so it doesn't have to be like a word document you can create list items and then even add check boxes to it so it's like a to-do list kind of and obviously you can create multiple of these notebooks and you can also share notebooks between people if you want to collaborate now I'm not sure if you can share individual pages with people I was trying to look for that I couldn't find the feature but you definitely can share entire notebooks if you want and like I said you can also insert other stuff like using a pen tool to draw you can add images and do most of the other text formatting stuff like you can do in Microsoft Word, like bolding, italics, changing the font size, color, a bunch of other stuff that you can probably see on here, but I'm not going to show you everything. It would just take too long. All right, next up, we have an app called Office Lens, which is basically a document scanner made by Microsoft. Now, technically, this is available as a Windows app, but it's probably more useful if you get the phone app version, which is available on both Android and iOS. So basically, you just take a picture of a document, you point the camera at it, it'll automatically crop to the document, the business card, whatever, and then you can also add filters to it so it'll be easier to read so you don't have to take a regular photo, it'll kind of more look like a scanned document. And then once you do take a picture of it to scan it, you can then draw on it, add text notes to it, stuff like that. And this is especially useful because it ties into other apps on your Microsoft account, like OneDrive and OneNote, which we just talked about. So you can see if I save it to OneNote, now it shows up as a page in that notebook that I was using before. It all syncs together. And like I said, it is available as a Windows app in the Microsoft Store on Windows, and it'll just use the webcam on your computer for that. But for me, it didn't really work well with my particular webcam, the Logitech C922, for whatever reason. You can see the camera frame rate was like really bad. It wasn't focusing on the note, couldn't really control the webcam. So I don't know what the deal is with that. It would probably work better if you were using a Microsoft made Windows tablet, like a Surface Pro or something that had a native webcam in it, but you can try it yourself. But again, I'd probably just use the smartphone app and kind of sync it with your other apps. All right, so those are the end of the Microsoft made apps, but we have a couple more that are not made by Microsoft, still free, still super useful. So this next one is called Push Bullet. You've heard me talk about this one before. It's basically an extremely useful program for like sharing text, links, images, whatever else between your devices. So it's available on Windows, Android, iOS, and I believe even Mac. So what you do is you install it on each of your devices and then log in to an account you create. And then you can kind of think of it like a group chat with yourself across your devices. So you type text into it or paste something into it or paste an image into it, and then it'll send it to another device and it'll just show up over there. So this is obviously really useful. I'm sure you've come across a situation where you're looking at something on your computer, you wanna send it to your phone or vice versa. You can do it easily with this app. And it's also available as browser extensions, like there's one for Chrome, in which case if you're on a web page you want to link to on your phone, you just literally right click and then send it to whatever app, and then you can do it that way. So all around super useful if you put it on all your devices. And I think there might be a pro version, but I just use the free version and it's totally fine. All right, so finally up to number seven, we have another one that I've definitely talked about before, and it is Notepad++, super useful. It's basically a super fancy version of just regular Windows Notepad. So very much like like regular Windows Notepad, this is really good if you just want to take quick and dirty notes that you actually want to save as a text file. And it's especially useful if you maybe want to type something out that's going to need a little bit more space than if you were to just put it in a sticky note like we talked about before. So if you want to copy a bunch of text and just put it in a text document, you can put it in a Notepad++ and it's a lot easier to navigate and there's just so much more features. So for example, it has things like tabbed notes so you don't have to open up multiple windows. And one really useful thing is you can also have it so it doesn't just delete the text files if you close the program or accidentally close it. But I think you do have to enable that setting. So definitely do that. You go to settings, backup, and then check remember current session for next launch. And then it'll keep the file even if you close out the program. And then of course, it also has a lot of other useful features for like programming. It supports so many different markup languages and formats. So if you do programming or opening a source file, it'll show everything there. So yeah, those are seven useful programs. If you guys want to keep watching, here's another link to another video I made recently with 15 required Windows programs that I think pretty much most people should have on their computer no matter what. So you can check that out right here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If there's any free programs that I completely missed, I'm always open to suggestions down there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.